Hi and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be working on this veneer art deco dressing table which I picked up from Facebook marketplace for $50. It's a beautiful piece but the veneer was really not doing anything for me. So let's start at the beginning. I always start with stripping pieces back and giving them a really good clean. It's really important to remove the drawers and give underneath and inside a really good hoover because these old pieces can be so dusty. After that, I take some just normal household cleaning products and give the piece a really good clean inside and out. It's so tempting to just crack on and get started with the project, but it's really important to give the piece a really good clean. I mean, everywhere, the front, back, underneath, legs, everywhere. So part of the problem with this project is that the glass top shattered in transit. I was so gutted and I wasn't really quite sure how we were going to resolve that because I was left with this really horrible cheap wood. But fortunately the gold leaf was a great solution to resolving that. So although this was a really solid piece of furniture, there were a number of defects that needed to be resolved. So the side of the frame, there were some chips in the veneer and the drawers, there were parts that were pulling away. If you ever see a piece of furniture like this, don't pass it up. I mean, these are issues that need to be resolved but they're quite easy to do so. With some glue and some wood filler, you can have the piece looking brand new in no time at all. Okay, so the next step is to work on repairing the drawers. So for this, I used wood glue to bond the peeling veneer back together. The Gorilla Glue that I use, it's a moisture activated PVA glue. So you have to actually apply a small amount of moisture to the surface before adding the glue. That's why you can see me wiping it there. The Gorilla Glue, you need a generous amount of glue, but not too much, that it spills over. And after adding that to one part, one side, I clamped it together to, to hold it in place and left that for about 20 to 30 minutes. I repeated that exact same process on the other side of the drawers. It's important that if there is any spillage that you clean that up straight away, otherwise it does get messy once the glue is dried. So to repair the chipped wood on the frame of the piece, I use wood filler. To be honest, I just like to use my hands because you can control how much filler that you're putting in and you can get a sense of whether that's enough or whether you need more. When it feels that you have enough, then I just went over it with um, an orbital sander. You'll also see that I'm using the sander on the side, I'm just scuffing that so it's got a really good surface to paint. So the trick to painting veneer is to make sure you clean it, sand it and prime it really well, well before you think about painting. I use Fusion Mineral Paint because it has a built-in top coat that's really durable, stain resistant and waterproof once it's been cured in about 21 days. The fusion paint really dries to a beautiful soft matte finish and I love that you don't really need to add any varnish or anything like that, it's all an all-in-one paint. I apply two coats of paint to the drawers and the frame. So this next phase of the project, this was the most fun part of the project for me, using the gold leaf. It's the first time that I've ever used gold leaf and it was so tricky and so finicky, but once you get used to it, it it's so much fun. The gold leaf is an extremely thin sheet of actual gold. It's far lighter than a piece of aluminium foil the same size and treating a project with gold leaf involves gluing it down with a special glue called adhesive sizing. 
The adhesive sizing is a glue designed specifically for working with gold leaf. To use it, you apply the size exactly where you want the gold leaf to go. Then you have to wait until the size is tacky but not dry. So that's normally about 20 minutes or so. And then the leafing is set atop the tacky adhesive and it's rubbed down with a brush until it's smooth. For the legs, I remove the legs and then taped the end with painter's tape. I took them outside and I gave them a really good spray with some black spray paint just to bring them up a little bit. And then I protected the dark part of the, of the legs and sprayed the metal bits with a metal spray. The antique gold rubber and buff just gives a really more authentic look. I wanted to add some drama to the legs so I decided to apply some gold leaf just to one of the legs at the front just to jazz it up a little bit and add some interest. To add even more drama I decided to add a bit more gold leaf to the front of the drawers. This just makes it pop against that matte black, it looks so sexy. These beautiful Art Deco handles are just perfect for this project. And there it is, all done. A reminder of what it looked like before and afterwards, what a transformation. The black against that popping gold is just a perfect combination. It's still in keeping with that beautiful Art Deco style but it has a much more contemporary feel about it now. Plus, you would never know that there was an issue with the broken glass top because the gold leaf was the perfect way to resolve that issue. So I really hope that was helpful and provided you with some good tips if you're ever looking to do or make over a veneered piece. Let me know if it was helpful in the comments and don't forget to subscribe Click on the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll catch you soon.